What's up everybody, Angelos is with you and today we're going to see some amazing traps in 3 knights uh, opening. So we have e4, e5, knight to f3 and the most common reply here is knight to c6, right? And now we have the 3 knights opening and this is after knight to c3 because the 3 knights are already developed, right? And uh, if black uh, developed this knight we have the 4 game for knight game but we are not going to see that. The most logical looking reply here is bishop to c5, right? And what are you going to do here with white? White have a tactical trick, can you spot it? And the tactical trick as Capablanca managed to find one, uh, 100 years ago is knight takes e5. Uh, Capablanca Adams is uh, the game. And after knight takes e5 we have this d4 idea because now the bishop and the knight are under attack. And uh, black is not losing material here because he can sacrifice back this bishop and now we have bishop takes d4, queen takes d4 but the good news is that uh, white have very active queen and for example it's a little difficult to do something with the knight for example if the knight um, retreats, go back, then we can grab this pawn on g7, right? For that reason we have some attacking possibilities here and for example after d6 this looks very normal, normal. white have this uh, f4 um, idea attacking the knight again, eyeballing this g7 pawn and definitely white have uh, initiative here. But uh, another way to protect this knight is queen to f6, right? And now it's your turn for white, what are you going to do here? And probably you may thinking something like f4 to kick the knight and if the knight goes back to capture or to do something else but uh, this uh, this move queen to f6 have a lot of poison why because if you just play something like that something like f4 now black is winning and the winning move is knight f3 check because now the queen is under attack and the king as well and uh, white cannot do anything for example he can capture here but then he is going to lose the queen and now black is totally winning for that reason you should be extremely careful on uh, what to do your opponent is trying to attack all the time and now it's white's turn what are you going to do here with white and a solid move, a nice move is to move forward the bishop because now you are protecting the queen, everything is very nice and solidly placed. This is a normal move, a nice move, but Capablanca found a better one. Can you imagine that? And this is knight to b5. And great players not only defending but attacking at the same time. Because the knight is protecting the queen, black doesn't have the same trick now because we can recapture this knight on f3 and queen is totally protected. And similarly this knight defends the queen and attack the c7 pawn. He would like to create this double attack and now black is in a little trouble you see. He played this move queen uh, king d8 and now uh, Capablanca found another double attack. Can you find this double attack? This is very easy double, very difficult double attack because he played this move queen to c5 and he is attacking a check here to capture this pawn with the queen and similarly he is threatening a checkmate on f8. This is a double attack and after knight to c6 he delivered this uh, beautiful checkmate in 9 moves and he won the game brilliantly. So if you like to, to do something um, to win easily or fast you, you should remember after this mistake you should capture um, on e5 with a knight, right? So let's see another game. In another game we can see two other players, he was a strong player, close to Finn the Master rating, white player started with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight to c3, again the 3 knight defense, but now black uh, played this move, knight to c6, so white who should do something, right? And um, of course it's not very advisable to went on c4 because black has the same trick. If you went here then black have the same trick, he can capture and after this recapture you have this strong reply in the center, the double attack. For that reason you should do something else. And the white played this quiet move g3 and the idea is to uh, develop the bishop, uh, make the short castling, control the center. It's not the best move in the position, but this is something solid. And uh, now black player played this move uh, bishop to c5, right? And wait a, mo a minute, we have the same trick, right or not? What do you think? And during the game, white player captured here on e5, and this is a terrible mistake, terrible mistake. 
because black of course he should recapture and now after this natural move d4 can you find the black's next move? He captured on d4 and white didn't recapture back because black is winning now and he has this double attack knight to f3 and he is winning the king uh, he is attacking the king and queen so he will win material for that reason white played something like that uh, f4 but after this retreat uh, black is protecting the piece he has good development and he, the game ended right now for that reason you should be you should be very careful on how to handle this uh, uh, central pawns and uh, what to do and uh, you see if without this move if if black plays immediately this move bishop to c5 then we can capture this pawn on e5 but if he plays first this one and for example if we develop the g3 try to develop the bishop then black can um, put the bishop on c5 because he has this trick i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully these tricks will improve your chess game all the best and see you soon